Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about the conversion from push-down automator to context-free grammar. In the previous classes, we have already discussed about the conversion from context-free grammar to push-down automator. But in this class particularly, we will discuss about the conversion from push-down automator to context-free grammar. Okay. Suppose if a push-down automator is given, suppose if a push-down automator is given, how to construct a context-free grammar from the given push-down automata? There are some rules. There are some rules we will use. Based on these rules, we will construct the context-free grammar from the push-down automata. See, these are the rules. These are the rules. See the first rule. What is the first rule? The first rule is here. S to Q0, Q0, Z0, and Q. Where Q, where or for all Q belongs to capital Q. For all Q belongs to capital Q. Suppose in a push down automata contains the two states. Suppose a push down automata contains two states like Q0, Q1. Suppose, okay, Q0 and Q1. The rules rule means the first rule will like this S2, what Q0, Z0. Q0 because this is the first one. For second means for the second state Q0, Z0, Q1. Okay. Because there are two states here in the given push down automata. Since there are two states, so the first rule will like this S2, Q0, Z0, Q0 and S2, Q0, Z0, Q1. Okay. Here where here S is the what? Stating symbol. Here S is the stating symbol. And Q0 is the initial state. Z0 is the uh, initial element of the stack. Okay. Q, Q is the number of states means the number of states in, uh, in the given push down automata. Okay. What is the second rule? If the transition looks like del Q1, a capital A. Capital A means top of the variable or top of the variable. Top of means uh, top top of the stack. Capital A means top of the stack. If Q1 A capital A equals to Q2 epsilon. Q2 epsilon. So then, then the context free grammar or then the prediction of the context free grammar looks like what? Q1 A. Q1 A. Then Q2. Q1 A. Q2, Q1 A, Q2, 2 A, means this A, means this terminal, okay? Next, the third rule. What is the third rule? Del of Q1 A, capital A. Here, sim, uh, similarly, capital A, Q1 is the state, A is the terminal, means it will read the string, means symbols of the string, symbols of the string, okay? This is the top of the state, top of the stack. Then if Q1 A capital A equals to Q2 B1 B2, B1 B2, then the production looks like, mean the then the production of the context free grammar looks like what? Q1 A, Q1 A, then I'm not here feeling, uh, just say Q1 A, then this A will come here and here is contains Q2, here it contains B1. Q1, B1, and B2 is here. So these are the blanks. These are the these blanks are called as the states. These blanks are called as states. Let here means this blank. These blanks are called as states. Okay. If it is if these all blanks means this one, this one, this one, and this one all are states. Let I am filling here one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See here one, two, three, four. All are stairs. All are stairs. Remember one thing two and three. State two and three must be same. State two and three must be same. And state one and 4 must be same okay 
state two and three must be same and state one and four must be same. So two and three state must be same and one and four state must be same. Okay. So this transition is called as pop transition and this transition is called as push transition. Okay. So the production looks like Q1, A, Q1, A. Then this one means this is one state means state like here in the push down automata. Let the push down automata contains how many states? Q0, Q1. If I'll take one, if I'll take one as Q0, so one and four must be same. So four must be Q0. If two, here two is Q1. If two is Q1, three must be Q1 because two and three, second and third state must be same. And first and fourth state must be same. So if it is Q0, it must be Q0. If it is Q1, it must be means third state must be Q1. Okay. So here Q1, A is here. So this A means terminal will come to this part. And Q2, B1. Q2, B1 is here. Q2, B1 and B2 in the middle. Okay. So these are the three rules. While these are the three rules we will use while we will convert from push down automata to context free gamma. Okay. Now we will see one example. How to construct context free grammar from the push down automata? See. Okay. The first rule. See here. Construct the context free grammar for the following push down automata. For the following push down automata. Now we'll construct. Now we'll now we have total. How many rules? Three rules. Rule one, rule two, and rule three. Rule three is for pop operation, and rule three is for push operation. And rule one is for just how many number of states in the given PDA. See here, how many states? Generally, there are two states, Q0 and Q1. Now, we'll use the first rule. So, first rule is here, S2, S2, Q0, Z0, then Q0, then S2, Q0, Z0, Q1. Now we'll use the first rule. First rule means this one. See, this rule. S2, Q0, Z0, Q. Q belongs to capital Q. Means how many number of states in the given push down automata. In this push down automata, generally there are two states. In this push down automata, general there are two states. One is Q0, one is Q1. Okay. So that's why S to Q0, there's 0, Q0, and S to Q0, there's 0, Q1. Okay. Now, see. So, see here. Now we have total six transitions. Now we'll check which transition is for push operation and which transition is used for pop operation first is pop operation pop operation means it contains right part contains epsilon so third one is pop operation fourth one is pop operation fourth one is pop operation fifth one is pop operation sixth one is pop operation because third fourth fifth sixth all transitions are pop operation because it contains epsilon see here second first and second transition is called push operation because so yeah it looks like means uh it looks like what third transition you can say q1 a a equal to q2 b1 b2 q q2 b1 b2 so now we'll use second rule now we'll use second rule for all four means third fourth and fifth sixth transition second rule now we'll use third rule see here Now we will use third rule, rule three, rule three for first and second transition. This is, we will use rule three 
and we will use a rule to for third, fourth, fifth, sixth transition. Okay, now we will see. Now for transition three, transition three is here del q0 1 x q0 1 x equals to q1 epsilon q0 1 x equal to q1 epsilon. So now we'll construct the production of the context free grammar how q0 x q1 q0 x q1 equals to or or mark this is one okay then fourth one del q1 1 x q1 1 x equal q1 epsilon here q1 epsilon now we'll use second rule so q1 x q1 q1 x q1 2 this one then fifth one means del q1 epsilon x q1 epsilon okay so now we leave the second rule q1 x q1 q1 x q1 2 epsilon sixth one means sixth transition del q1 epsilon z0 q1 epsilon z0 q1 epsilon and q1 z0 q1 q1 z0 q1 2 epsilon okay so now we have already constructed the production of context free grammar for third fourth fifth and sixth transition now we'll construct now we'll construct the means uh, context free grammar or the production of context free grammar for first means for first one means this one okay so see here for the first one del q0 0 z0 equals to q0 x zero okay see the rule we can use the third one is third one but q1 capital a then q2 b1 here b2 is here so similarly we can use q0 zero z0 zero, q0 zero, z0 zero, then 0 so here q0 x q0 x then z0 is here okay so these are the steps this one this one and this one this one so now we have total how many now we have total q0 and q2 there are two states here now we have total q0 and q1 states so if you will take q0 here if it is take q0 here so it must be q0 if it is take q0 here here is also q0 okay in this way we can take all combinations because we have total two states because we have total two states. So now we'll take combination like this Q1, here Q1, Q0, Q0. Now we can also take here uh, Q0, Q1, Q1. In this way, we can take all combinations. 
see how to take q0 total we can get four productions q0 z0 0 q0 here all are comma this is z0 q0 means copy all mean copy uh, just like for same means for first one z0 this is 0, q0, comma, x, this is z0, q0, z0, 0, q0, x, z0, okay? So, so how to take combinations here? Q0, this is Q0, Q1, Q1. So if it is Q0, it must be Q0. If it is Q0, it must be Q0. If it is Q1, it must be Q1. If it is Q1, it must be Q1. So Q0, like let's take Q1, Q1, Q0, Q0, Q1, Q1. Okay. That means how to take, uh, how to take means the number of states. It is, you can take randomly. If it is Q0, it is Q0. If it is Q0, Q0, it is Q0 and it is Q1. If we can take, if it is Q1, Q1, so it must be Q0, it must be Q1. In this way, we can take all combinations, all combinations, okay? So now we'll construct the second one. We'll consider the second one means Q0, 0, 0, X. The second one, del, sorry. Del, Q0, 0, 0, X equals to Q0, X, X. Okay, so Q zero X. Similarly, we can draw like uh, we can uh, construct the productions uh, for just like uh, one means first transition. Q zero X, Q zero X, then Q zero. See here, we can take just give comma to all, comma comma. Okay. Q zero X Q zero two zero Q zero X then this X. So Q zero X because we'll take all combinations Q zero X Q zero X Q zero X Q zero Q zero X Okay, so sorry here it is not Q0 actually. Now we'll put the Q0x then Q0x then X here. If I'll put Q0 here Q0, Q1, Q1. So this one must be Q0, Q0, Q1, Q1. So if it is Q0, it is Q1. If it is Q0, if it is Q1. If it is Q0, Q1, Q0, Q1.
okay so these are the all means uh, productions so these are the productions this one is the production this one is the production like this okay but it is very difficult to read all the production so now we will convert in a b c d like format means we will just rename all productions how see here let i'm taking just name for this one let this one is a this one is b you can take any number you can take a this one is b like this as your wish now i am taking c here now i am taking d here now i am taking this one is e now i am taking this one is f now i am taking this one is e f g now i am taking this one is h okay that means a means q0 z0 q0 b means q0 z0 q1 d means q1 z0 q1 okay so how to convert c here see this one is the first transition this one s to q0 z0 q0 that means now i will convert s to q0 z0 q0 see here q0 z0 q0 means a so a s to a a s to q0 z0 q1 that means a s to q0 z0 q1 q0 z0 q1 means b okay so similarly q0 x q1 q0 x q1 means q0 x q1 means f we can convert this one as f to 1 okay then this one is q1 x q1 this is like h q1 x q1 see q1 x q1 this is q1 q1 x q1 means h so this one is h to 1 q1 x q1 means h h to epsilon q1 z0 q1 q1 z0 q1 q1 z0 q1 means d d to epsilon okay so this one q0 z0 q0 means a a to 0 q0 x q0 q0 x q0 means e then q0 z0 q0 q0 z0 q0 means a then this one q0 z0 q0 is a that is 0 q0 x q1 q0 okay q0 x q1 means f then q1 this one is c then q0 z0 q1 q0 z0 q1 means b 0 q0 x q0 q0 x q0 means e q0 z0 q1 means b this one is b 0 And q0 x q1 here q0 x q1 means f and this one means a d then q0 x q0 q0 x q0 means e that is 0 q0 x q0 q0 x q0 q0 x q0 means e then this one is e then e to q0 x q0 is e then 0 q0 x q1 q0 x q1 means f q0 x q1 then q1 x q0 means g then q0 x q1 q0 x q1 means f then 0 q0 x q0 
Q0, X, Q0 means E. Then this one is F. Then Q0, X, Q0 means F. Then 0. Q0, X, Q1. Q0, X, Q1 means F. Then this one is H. Okay. So now we'll write, we can write like this. All productions. Yeah. S2 A plus B, then F2 1, then H2 1 slash epsilon, then D2 epsilon, then A2 like this. Zero E A. 0 e a plus 0 f c 0 f c then b2 0 e b zero f d E two zero F G F two zero F F. So this is the final context free grammar. Okay. So in this way we can convert from means uh, convert the context free grammar from the push down automata okay so in the next class we will uh, discuss about the identification of context free language means uh, we will just uh, we will discuss means the language is given this language is context free or not okay okay thanks for watching